want to preface this video by saying this is emotional and this is a bit of a rant so you don't have to watch it all if you don't want to but it's just Mike Watson meant a lot to me in my childhood and I'm just really gonna miss the guy I mean I even had a video semi recently when I was playing Gentleman of the Row. I mean, semi, semi re recently for my channel. Um, and even that just like blew up, which is weird. Like, like not blew up, but blew up for my the amount of views I normally get, which is crazy to think about. Um, but yeah, he just means a lot. And if this video is maybe too much for you, try taking a break or you don't have to watch it because I know I teared up. Um, and he keeps watching the other like um, the video that was made for Mike Watson so just if this video is too much for you just let me know also please please don't come and comment about the new Saints Row at the time of this recording this video I had not watched the new trailer and I just this isn't about the new Saints Row this is about Mike okay thank you guys and enjoy <sighs> well I don't even know how to start this video <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. This guy was responsible for so much of my childhood. And learning while I was at work today that he's passed away really hit me. Um, I don't, I don't really know what to say, honestly, like, I'm trying, like, not to just look really depressed, and, like, try and, I don't know, think of, think positive thoughts, but, like, this, this isn't something easy to, that came to me, because, it was the only other day that I was making this thread on Reddit um, about Saints Row, like, um, getting fixed if I move myself over here. Um, because I was in a conversation with someone on Discord the other day um, talking about Saints Row and I heard that the new, there was the new Saints Row thing coming out today, it actually came out, the conference was at 4am today for the new Saints Row. Um, and then I remembered, oh, didn't they find this, um, Saints Row 2 PC source code? And then I checked, it was back in 2019, so I was kind of looking, looking through these threads and I was kind of like, oh, what happened? And then I was like, then someone just said, the lead dev got cancelled. I didn't know who the lead dev was at the time, and then I opened the thread. And it's Idol Ninja. <sighs> this was made back in May. I only discovered this two days ago. I didn't even know that they were working on it. Because I knew that they found it and I, th th I heard stuff. But I hadn't really kept up with Saints Row too much. Even though Saints Row is... Saints Row 2 is one of my favourite games of all time. It's probably number 2 up in... Or number one, even, up in my um, all-time favourite games. We all know that Team Fortress 2 is up there. Um, 1 or 2. Saints Row 2, 1 or 2. Like, they're, they're both competing for the first spot. Um, and neither game is playable now, which is kind of fun. Team Fortress 2 with its bots. Saints Row 2, I mean, on PC, that is. Saints Row 2 with its crashes and bugs and everything. But... Yeah, it was definitely a big part of my childhood. And then you're probably like, oh, what kind of child is playing Saints Row 2 and Team Fortress 2? But that, that's what I did. I started Team Fortress 2 at five years old. I was playing Saints Row 2 at six, seven. I'm not exactly sure. What year did Saints Row 2 come out? 2008. So I would have been, yeah, seven. That's actually near my birthday as well. So I played that basically when it came out. So seven years old. I was playing that on PC with my brother. Um, obviously the port was never perfect, but at that time it did actually work. Um, yeah. Um, shit. I don't know how to put this. So basically I found this out and I was just super depressed, super down. I was like, I was reading through this post by Auto Ninja 
I, I gotta be able to move myself now. Um, oh, and I was just so sad. Like, fuck cancer, bro. Fuck cancer. The cancer that that he fought so hard with. It was only last year and it fucking came back. And just reading this made me tear up, like, the first time, like, wait, the second time, the third time, like, I've read this over and over, like, and I only have a short time left here on Earth. And the fucking, the fucking, this man is the most selfless man fucking ever, I swear. Just, he stepped, he stepped out as Volition's community developer makes sense you're dying but he says while he will no longer be managing community he will continue to work as long as this is he's available as in the saints row 2 patch fix like this man is dying this was made in may so this man's dying he has what th been over three months now he's died today I mean, uh 12 20 it's kind of weird because American and Australian time zone, but let's just try and keep it to my time zone to make it simpler. This man has like three months and 15 days to live. Like he probably wasn't given that exact number, but he was probably told he only has a few months to live. And this man is still fucking working on the Saints Row 2 patch fix. Like, seriously, you're dying. You only have a few months left to live and you decide to fucking work on a community project that you're not even getting paid for. Like, I mean, not that really money matters. I mean, it probably matters to family. Misty in the background there. Um, and stuff like that, but to like him himself, money doesn't matter, so I guess it doesn't matter, but you're in your like, you're in your final stages and you decide to use that time. <sighs> you decide to use that time to just work on a community patch. Like, this man is so selfless. He doesn't, he doesn't care. Like, he, he didn't put himself first. He put other people first and <sighs> it's just crazy. I'm trying to bring up something on my phone that I just said. Um, fuck, I was just trying to talk about this and not let my emotions get to me because I am kind of tearing up now, but I literally said, hopefully I can edit this video, put it up on the screen, but I literally said the other day, I was like, I quoted this, this quote, <sighs> this last sentence makes me so sad. And one last thing, while I probably won't be here to see the launch, our new Saints Row game is absolutely going to blow the roof off. I am beyond proud to have to have been a part of bringing it to life. Fuck. Just trying to read that. Just trying to read that is fucking hard. I'm not going to lie. And I literally just said the other day, I was just talking to my family, and my brother um, was the one who actually got me into Saints Row 2. Speaking of which, he just messaged me. <laughs> um... But he's actually the one that got me into Saints Row 2. Um, and I'm just, I just said, like, you're, you're literally dying and you commit your last moments on working on a beloved project that gains you personally nothing. Like, it didn't, like I was saying, is it financially or anything? Um, and um, not only working on the new Saints Row, but using his final moments on the fix for Saints Row 2. Like, Uh, yeah, he was a part of bringing it to life, and, um, this man, this man was the reason I could play my favourite childhood game again, like, I think I finished Saints Row maybe six, seven times, Saints Row 2, sorry, and this man is the reason I could, Gentleman of the Row mod, and then, unfortunately, Gentleman of the Row mod just just it just stopped working like it, it still worked but the game would still crash every few minutes and it was just becoming so outdated and the fact that they could find the source code <sighs> what i have to say is volition don't fuck this up don't fuck this up otherwise me and the fucking saints row community will fucking come for you 
Seriously, don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Okay? Don't fuck this up. It does say that Felician and Deep Silver have been incredibly supportive. Um, and with a solemn vow to make sure it gets finished without me. If it doesn't get finished, I'm fucking coming for Volition and Deep Silver, man. See, I don't know what he means. Like, the problem is, is in the community, it's so hard because it says, we have also been planning this for a for the, the planning for this eventual moment and brought on oh, that's just planning for this eventual moment like he knew he knew that it was gonna come and he was still working on this shit man this guy is fucking so selfless like if you're if you're into anything my degree i i have a major in game design and development um as part of my um bachelor and this man is a fucking inspiration Just, yeah. And brought on additional programming to help me sometime to make sure it happens. I couldn't even watch, like, there was that video that, um, who is this, Mr. Saints Godzilla made, but even then, this video, I don't want to just steal his content straight up, but... All the things we learned about... But, it, that is, it's just so depressing, I probably won't even be able to watch me tear up at this video, I probably won't even be able to watch this video, even though I probably have to edit it, um, a little bit, but most of this is just, this, this, none of this video is scripted, this is just straight, straight off my conscience, this is just straight into this um honestly after as a big saints row 2 fan i have played saints row 1 2 3 4 i haven't played get out of hell yet because i was like oh, i'll play that after 4 but i never got around to finishing 4 because i mean everyone can have their opinion on the saints row games but i really loved the more serious tone of like saints row 2 saints row 3 was pretty good um it was still serious, but didn't really have the good, like the the good story writing and everything like Saints Row One and Two. Um, but um, yeah, it was it was still a fun game. Saints Row Three. It sort of was like it's definitely the middle of Saints Row Two and Four, as in in terms of like story and how crazy it is. Because like Saints Row Three is like Saints Row Three is like half Saints Row Four, half Saints Row Two in terms of like seriousness and craziness at the same time. And then Saints Row Four just goes full mental um i was meant to finish saints row 4 but even for a game that was released in so i'm gonna say early 2010s no 2015 jeez for a game that was released in 2015 this cat out of hell was released at the same date okay um wait this says 2015 this says 2013 initial Now I'm confused. Because, I, yeah, I thought it was early 2010s. I thought 2015 was a bit late. What's the wiki say? 2013. Oh, that's the next gen that was 2015. Okay. So 2013, yeah. For a game that was released in 2013 on PC, um, it still crashed when I played. And it didn't really have autosave and stuff. It, um, so, yeah, but... Oh shit, come to think of it, 2013 is like eight years ago. Fuck. Like, almost. It was like. F Wait, sorry, what was the release date? August, okay, yeah. Eight years ago, jeez. <sighs> um, yeah, never actually got to finish that and play Get Out of Hell, but. <sighs> what was my point I was getting to? Oh, right. I wasn't really hyped for this new Saints Row game after 3 and 4. 3 was pretty good, like. If I was to give them sort of ratings, like, say in Sorrow 1 was, if we're rounding it, like, not doing half, so I'd say, like, an 8. Saints Row 2 is probably, like, a 10 to me. Saints Row 3 is, like, a... Oh, I want to say just, like, 7, 7.5. Um, and Saints Row 4 is, like, a 
five, maybe six. Five and a half, I don't know. I said I wasn't going to do half a box, but there we go. Um, so I wasn't really impressed with like the pickup and the new games, like the pickup of um, the Saints Row series and the newer games. Um, because I was kind of just like, Ugh. it's sort of going away from the roots. Because, yeah, as I've, as I've stated previously, Saints Row 2 is like my favorite um, Saints Row. Um, so... Whew. So knowing, hearing that they were making a new game, they had nothing on it. Today they actually released it and I still haven't watched the trailer. At the end of this video, I probably will um, stop recording, watch the trailer and then maybe give my thoughts on it. But I basically, I wasn't really that hyped for it. Just after the last games, like four and get out of hell, I was like, uh, and oh, and also Agents of Mayhem in the meantime. I know that's not a Saints Row game, but it's a Saints Row Universe game. Um, and I have played that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I just wasn't really excited. But after reading this post, I actually had a fair bit of hope for it. Because if Idol Ninja of all people says... I, I really want to just keep calling him Mike Watson. Because I want anyone who Google Mike Watson for his name to come up. He needs a wiki page. I'm probably going to make a wiki page after this game. After this game. After this video. Um, about him. Oh, at least I'll try. Just because this man is an inspiration. And I want to try and make a wiki page. Because I have before... And you know, if you start if you start a wiki page, sometimes sometimes someone picks it up and helps you. Like if you can get the foundation, but they might. <sighs> Wikipedia has some strict um, guidelines, so they might be like, "Oh, he's not famous enough." Fuck that. There's some a lot of less famous people. Well, not famous, but less notable people on wiki. But anyway, um, back to what we were saying. Um, yeah. So I really hope we get a, get a wiki page and just all his accomplishments are there. I just want anyone who Googles Mike Watson because I'm pretty sure if you Google Mike Watson right now, I'm pretty sure it doesn't come up with him. Yeah. I mean, the top stories do now. I need to move again. The top stories do now. But like the other day before he had died, these stories went here. So like all you had was a stunt performer. Um, and then... I guess because I'm in Australia, it's done to me, but Mike Watson is on LinkedIn. Um, and then, yeah. Like, if you if you ignore this, it just has his Twitter. Um, has his Twitter, you can ignore this because that wasn't there. Um, yeah, okay. See, it's hard because a lot of these, a lot of these weren't here before because um, these are news articles. Yeah, this was updated 34 minutes ago, eight hours ago, like... Um, like an IMDB for the thing, like only there was probably only like three of those results there before. Um, yeah, so it is a bit hard, but but yeah, just the the, the fact that he 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 was part of bringing the new Saints Row to life, I had some hope for it. I was like, maybe this game will actually be good and i haven't been able to watch the trailer because i it was yeah the pr conference was at 4 a.m australian time and i haven't and then i just went to work um and yeah it was fucking tough being at work on my break and seeing that he had passed away because i literally went to check his twitter to see if he had said anything about um the new uh the new trailer announcement trailer whatever um i was like okay because um before i show you that maybe you paused the video and already looked at that but before that his last tweet wasn't actually too long ago it was three days ago now i don't know if these have times yeah three days ago now and just everything was normal like he was um he was hyping up fans who were ready for the um, announcement trailer and all that. Um, and he hadn't tweeted anything since. Like, this was the... And I did tweet him... Um, I forgot what I said. I tweeted him the other day and said something. And then today, while I was at work... So, I think the um, articles... They're eight hours ago now. So, minus four. So... It was, I think when I tweeted this, the articles were three hours ago, but I literally was like, tweet something, anything, please. Cause like, cause we didn't, we didn't know as a community, we didn't know how long he had to live. He said, 
he was coming up to like his final days and stuff like that but like we were given a time frame he said he had not long to live but is not long to live three months which actually is what it was is it four months five months six months like not long is a bit subjective but it's not something you want to ask someone either um so i said this and then literally i don't even know yeah 10 minutes later because i ended up because it said i said tweet something anything please because i was just like please tweet something please tell me you're alive and even if you read this after the fact it seems like like if you read this and you already knew he was dead you would be like you wouldn't think that I wouldn't have known. You would have just um, thought, oh, um, he's in denial, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. Um, and, I mean, you wouldn't be wrong in a way. Like, I could, I would have also done this, but uh, I just said tweet something, anything, please. And then I was like, I went to his profile and I just, there was nothing. So I decided okay maybe he said something it seemed like twitter was his only social media but maybe he said something so i googled his name and then that's when all the news articles popped up um actually no so i did tweet this and then my friend messaged me saying i can't believe he's gone and i was like what and i ended up googling it and then and then i just responded to myself um yeah um i this is just such a hard video to make um but yeah he like that was such a shitty thing to see at work because i was on my break and i still had like i don't know five hours to go or something and it was just fucking hard i just wanted to cry i was literally in the bathroom i just wanted to cry because i just like he did make this post yeah three months ago more than three months ago but i yeah I hadn't been keeping up because this is in the Saints Row 2 general discussions and um, what actually happened is after I played Saints Row 2, I finished it about, I think four times on PC um, and ended up, um, the other two playthroughs, because I finished it six times, the other two playthroughs I did on console, I ended up getting it on PS3 um, um, because it would because it kept crashing and yeah, I thought that way um, would be better. I just need to take a sec. Um, yeah, I hadn't really been keeping up with, like, because I would not never have seen this because I wasn't really going on the Saints Row 2 thing, but... Fuck. And, like, this... this, this Unfortunately, the Saints Row Reddit is not the most active, I guess. Like, well, no, not active. I should say most... Um, I don't know why it's not showing all of my screen. I don't know why you can't see this, but actually, I don't want to really... I just realized there's probably some posts there that were spoiling stuff. I don't know how to show you guys. I don't know why the display capture is kind of off. I think it's doing 1080p instead of 1440. I don't know. I'm using OBS rather than my streaming stuff that I normally do. Um, but yeah, basically, I'll just tell you guys. This subreddit has less than 35,000 people, which... Um, when you go to like upvotes, I'm going to try and not look at anything that spoils me, but, um, I, I tried not to look, but basically like it doesn't get to your homepage really if it's like under like a thousand upvotes or whatever. Cause I, yeah, I am subscribed to this. Um, so yeah, I didn't really see anything, um, because the subreddit, yeah, isn't the biggest because like the Saints Row games like reddit reddit's been pretty popular but it's boomed in like the last four years probably like um and obviously saints Row hasn't had a game for eight years so yeah the saints Row subreddit hasn't been like the biggest thing ever because i feel like if you were a fan of saints Row, you were more niche because like so many people i talk to were like oh i've never played saints Row. like even heaps of my friends today and people i have on discord and stuff like had never played a saints Row, but like just heard of the announcement today um But yeah, um, it's just like, I don't want them to fuck it up. That's all I want to say. The Saints Row 2 fix. And he needs to be immortalized in a fucking Saints Row game. I don't care if they, in the Saints Row 2 source code, um, fix, they put a fucking statue of him. I don't care. But honestly, if the new game is good, they should fucking put a statue or Easter egg or something of Mike Watson, aka Idol Ninja, 
in the game in the new sense room and i fucking hope they do because this man needs to be immortalized <sighs> like even if we look at these comments here just below um uh, yeah okay so we'll start at the parent sorry um yeah, I feel bad for Idle Ninja, but I'm still kind of pissed because Volition cares so little that they maybe put three people maximum to do it. And I said on the Eurogamer, is this Eurogamer? No, that's PC Gamer, I think. Something. Yeah, but on the Eurogamer article, which seemed to be the best one about the Saints Row 2 patches, um, it said there were two people on it originally, um, but in that post where he said he was stepping down, I don't know why my camera's not focusing, um, he said he got a little bit of help from other programmers, which he said brought on additional programming help. Um, and then this man, um, responds saying, yeah, off his own paycheck, though, which I did not know, and I'm not 100% sure if that's true, but if that is true, that's a bit fucked, because he isn't getting paid to do this, because Saints Row 2's fix was a side project for him, he did get paid, um, well, he had a position of volition, so obviously he was getting paid as the community manager, but this was a side project that was separate that he wasn't even getting paid for, um, because, yeah, this man made the gentleman of the road mod for Saints Row 2 a massive mod. He made, um, I think a sandbox mod for Saints Row 3 and another mod for Saints Row 4, but, like, he was the, like, he was the life. He was the thing keeping Saints Row 2 living. And he, and then he just goes and, like, gets hired and works on the other Saints Rows and, oh, this man. Um, yeah, as I said, he, he really needs to be immortalized. But, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, Volition didn't give a fuck. I hope that's not true. Maybe it is true, but, like, this is just one Reddit user saying this. I haven't actually researched, but, um, yeah. I mean, you can read through my thread if you want. You you can easily find this. And, yeah, I quoted that last thing again, that, that quote, the end of that quote. Really hurts. Um, but, yeah, I, I just kind of wanted to just get it off my chest, I guess about my boss and like this this shit fucking sucks especially like this will sound selfish but i only found out two days ago and now he's just gone this man like was so helpful not only did he make like gentlemen in the row when i had issues with gentlemen in the row like when i tried to play with my brother i don't even know how long ago that would have been now but this man literally he cared he cared about my problem he wanted to fix it i'm pretty sure i tweeted him and he like came on to fix it. He he looked through the general discussions of Saints Row 2, like anyone trying to play it. He looked through his Twitter, he responded to people, he tried to get he tried to fix issues, and now when he gets the source code, he actually tries to fucking fix the game. Which in itself is such a big project because it's not just like, oh fix it, do add some lines of code, it's done. Like there was so much so much so many issues with the game. Like, um whew. I hope Thomas Jepp is doing well, by the way. Um, the two-man team of charge of the project. Um, yeah, performance and stability. I mean, we did see... I maybe shouldn't have closed the um, Twitter thing. Um, but this, like... If we just try and look at his tweets, I guess. I'm so glad that he saw that. I'm so glad that he fucking saw that. I want to retweet that now. I'm so glad that he saw that video, Saints, from God Saints Godzilla. Um, I'm so glad that he saw that before he passed. Um, and yeah, like th this man is even working on like, okay, th this is this is funny, but <laughs> binary choice for graphics. But um, yes, yeah, so, no, but this guy is like literally trying to make it work, like upscale, like HD, like. This guy's tr not just trying to make it run without crashing every 10 seconds, but he's, yeah, trying to improve performance and stability, trying to get it to run higher than 30 FPS, which it was locked at because it was a console port. Higher than 30 FPS, this guy was trying to get it to run it higher than... Um, I'm not sure because it's, like, it's directly a console port. I'm not sure if it was 720p because it's off the 360s or if it went to 1080. I'm not sure if, like the 360 or PlayStation 3 if they did 1080 maybe they did I'm not 100% sure but either we'll just make it run higher than 720 or 1080 I can't remember exactly but yeah um from memory I think it was stuck at 720 30 but I could be wrong um integrate steam networking for cult which is a massive thing like I I, I know some other games that 
like still sell well now and still run perfectly never never integrate steam invites or stuff like that and multiplayer and then yeah game spy obviously doesn't exist anywhere as a middleware mi anymore as a middleware so you like that that made multiplayer not work properly like you could use gentlemen of the road but then trying to get around it you had to like host servers like you remember the fucking like log me and hamachi shit um like when you try to play minecraft and stuff and try it because you had to be like land or whatever to play saints for it to get past game spy or like pretend to be land by like using some sort of program but yeah um integrate that stuff and also add the corporate warfare on old Altar exposed DLC because that was never that was never ported to PC so I don't actually know how he would have done that would he have gotten the console source code from Volition and then configured it for PC would he have to make that I don't I don't know but it definitely wasn't a small project it wasn't just like oh we're gonna stop it from crashing it's like we're gonna make it a fucking like we'll have modern features like if it was released today like and add the DLCs and, ugh. Whew. And yeah, he, he was taking his time with it. He wasn't rushing it. Like, um, yeah, and we, without Watson on it, I'm not sure how long it's even going to take now. Um, without Idle Ninja, it's only Thomas Jep now and possibly, I don't even know if those other programmers are going to be there because if that comment is correct, it was out of his own pocket. So um, I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen there. I really hope because a lot of projects that only have two people on it and now only one they s and like their projects is in self-funded or um, doing in their free time sometimes get abandoned um, and I really hope that's not the case especially because Volition claimed um, Volition and Deep Silver um, solemn vow to make sure it gets finished without him um, so he obviously knew that he wasn't going to be able to finish it. He, like, the fact that he knew that he wasn't going to be able to finish it before he died, passed, and he still just decided to work on it anyway. Uh, now I'm wondering, like, if other people are going to work on it, which I don't know, because if he had to pay out of his own pocket to get help, and then now it's only Thomas, is it just Thomas Jeb now just working on it? Like, I hope it's not a one-man thing. I hope Volition, Deep Silver, if, if anyone from Volition or Deep Silver are watching this, I highly doubt it, but please put some money aside you're gonna this probably saints row um new saints row is probably gonna sell fucking boatloads maybe i don't know if you market it right <laughs> um so please allocate some money to replacing him and i'm wondering just if in these final like days he was like writing notes like this is what needs to be done this is what this line of code does like i'm wondering if he's like um, because obviously yeah, I'm doing like a thing, uh, I'm doing a thing, I'm doing a course with coding, I'm wondering if he's like, um, <laughs> like a nail, like I don't know if he's, I don't know, but like, I don't know if he's leaving like, oh shit, I can't, you can't even see, but like, I don't know if he was making it 144 hertz, I know he was upping the quality, but I don't know if he would be able to change the refresh rate but like i don't know if he's like i was i just i'm just trying to sort of make like the mood a little lighter and like i don't know if he's just leaving like comments before he dies like this makes the game run at 144 hertz to i don't know like next to be done make it run at 244 no. i don't know not like that but i'm just saying like i'm wondering if he left little comments for the next person and i, I don't know. i'm just yeah i'm trying to trying to make make the situation a bit lighter by just trying to like laugh about well not laugh about it but tr just try and joke about it but it is obviously something really depressing and unfortunate and um yeah it's very sad that like yeah he's like that he probably like he says well i probably won't be able to see the launch like he gets to work on a saints row like the actual game itself rather than just modding for a game and he doesn't even get to see the launch and uh, if you if the articles if you can agree that the articles happened at the time he died well probably not but like if they were sort of soon after he died then he may have not even seen the conference he may have um whew, he may have 
seen like it's it's so hard because you don't know when he died did he die like i don't know what time it would have been but i'm wondering if he actually got to see the conference he probably would have been able to see the trailer early having worked on the game so i'm really hoping he saw it but the fact that he died like if you just go off when the article is um he died like i can't really do math in my head right now but like seven or eight hours after the conference started like the same day at least for me i don't know if it's different in america but in australia the same day that the new saints row gets announced is the day he passes which is i don't know it's kind of, it feels like kind of a coincidence like the new saints row that he's been working on gets like the announcement trailer and everything and then he also passes the same day um yeah i don't know what to think about that because and he was just he, he was like and he he was like such a like genuine soul and funny man like he's like <laughs> making the game no longer focus on um like underwear bro you don't have to worry he's like players should feel free to go commando and enjoy some death and freezes as they like like this man was just all about the fans all about pleasing other people all about everyone having their own creative freedom um and that's why this sucks um yeah i don't know what this is reset error jeez who said this by former former volition employee okay ryan mccabe so i'm assuming this is ryan mccabe um jeez um fuck i i'm probably gonna cry reading this one of my volition besties mike watson mike watson passed this morning after battling cancer for well over a year he knew for some time that it was a battle he was ultimately going to lose so many of us did as well that doesn't make you ready for it Mike was one of the best of us, and the world is no doubt darker without him in it. We shared so many interests in common, and our small group chat where we'd geek out about horror movies, especially after I moved and still hadn't found a dedicated horror crew, were highlights on the days new messages were highlights on the days new messages appeared, because it was guaranteed to be Mike telling us some new obscure horror film that we needed to watch. Aww. His passion was palpable and infectious from everything he loved, from comics to movies to games to Saints Row, and for much as he loved them, it was always clear that more than anything, he loved his friends even more. Fuck. No wonder he cares about the community so much, if he cares about... Oh my gosh. We did a Christmas movie marathon years ago, 2017, where we watched the insanity that was Kirk Cameron saving Christmas, the Star Wars Christmas special, terrible, and a few other random Christmas movies. When I got there, we'd not talked about expansion gifts or anything like that at all. It was a movie night at Christmas time, but damn it, Mike, you had a present for me. I was surprised, but I shouldn't have been because that's who you were. I See, I don't even know Mike personally, and I'm tearing up, man. I, I, I wish I knew Mike personally, man. I mean, it would probably even hurt even more than it does now, but he just seems like one of the most genuine people ever. Jeez. It's one of my favorite geeky shirts ever, and I'll keep it forever. Yes, I'll say it again, I love it. He actually asked me if I liked it after I opened it and had a slight concern that I might for not reason. For, might not for some reason. I I'll wear it. I'll wear it tomorrow. Love you, Mike, wherever you are. Fuck, in the trailer. I see, I haven't watched the trailer yet, but they had Idol Ninja spray painted. I'm gonna probably have to stop recording here and just take a sec. I do know letting it out is healthy, but it's not necessarily something I want to do on camera. Um, 
I'm not 100% sure um, who, um, how old Mike was, um, but just cancer fucking sucks. He didn't seem that old, um, like is in he was too young to die is what I'm trying to say. Um, whew. yeah, so, yeah, he was responsible for Gentleman of the Robo. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, all of that. I just, whew. wow, I can't believe this. I haven't watched the new trailer, but... His death was initially mentioned in a tweet by Volition Policy, which was deleted after a string of hostile replies from fans of this year. He's using it as a springboard to complain about the reboot. Why the fuck are you doing that? No wonder that tweet... I was wondering why that tweet got deleted. People are fucking cunts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but... Why? Why? Mike dies, and you're using it as fucking, like... And it says hostile replies as well. And I'm pretty sure Ryan McCabe in that thread was saying people were like being fucking dicks about it. And if you want to be a dick about it. See, Ryan McCabe like doesn't exist either. Like these, these people need to be known. Like, <sighs> like Mike Watson, especially is like responsible for so much of my childhood and so much of like so many hours of gameplay that I was able to do and it just fucking sucks and then oh, I don't even know is that just okay that's just that but particularly vile shit said yeah the subreddit is a shit show I really really hope I didn't, I, I was not looking, but I really hope, I'm probably going to have spoilers here, but, okay, people are comparing it to Fortnite, okay. Gat's not coming back, okay. Yeah, I probably am, probably spoiling it, but. Maybe we should take a look at the gameplay. I don't know. I don't know whether I should do this on a video or not. Because if I try and do like a reaction video, it, I don't know if my video could get taken down perhaps um, for like having their content in it. Um, like, because reaction channels, I know, I don't make money off YouTube anyway anymore because of the new str um, restrictions. But I just. Yeah, I, I don't know if I should be doing, a, a, like, a reaction video to it right now, especially feeling like this and sort of, like, basically, I'm sort of, I'd be in the mood where if I think it's shit, then I feel like, fuck, like, the, like, like, I wouldn't be, like, these fucking stupid fans replying to the tweet, but I'd be, like, even worse off because I'm, like, Mike Watson died and the new Saints Row sucks. Well, like, not, I can't say it sucks because I haven't played it, but it looks bad. And, yeah, I'll have to, I'll just have to watch it probably off, off camera, but, um, to actually understand. But, yeah, I really, I just, I, I don't think that people should be using his death or tweets about his death to fucking complain about the new game or make hostile remarks or something. Because I really hope they're not saying what I'm thinking they're saying, like, or like being happy he's dead or something like I really hope I know people on the internet can be really fucking stupid but please please just don't like I I had a hard enough time with Rick May um, if you don't know who Rick May is um he um, was the voice actor for the soldier in Tier Fortress 2 I had, a, I had a tough time with that um, but he was a little bit older and um, I don't know, this one just hits a bit harder, I guess, like, and I, but I'm not saying that Rick May dying was irrelevant, like, <sighs> that's just, yeah, but what I just, what I don't understand is, how does Mike Watson not have anything, like, if you, I don't know how old he is, I was googling how old he is, I couldn't really see, 
See, now, you, now for some reason when we Google, we have a poker player now as well. Not as well as a summer form, but I mean, he doesn't look that old, like in these things. Also, I don't like that these two have pictures of him. That's good. This one has the new Saints Row. Like, I know he worked on it, but we're talking about him. Not about the new Saints Row. Like, he, he wouldn't be the difference on whether Saints Row 2 is good or bad. He does say, he does give me hope for it. Our new Saints Row, um, while it probably won't be here, he says it's going to blow the roof off, roof off and it's proud. he's proud to bring it to life. But, like, um, if yeah, people are comparing to the Fortnite, I haven't, yeah, ex same, I haven't watched it. And it says, like, no loot, no service, um, whatever. It's meant to be a classic Saints Row game. But even then, even if it had loot boxes and shit and it was pay to win, that wouldn't be Mike's fault. So there's no point putting the new Saints Row there because that wouldn't be Mike's decision at all. Like, a lot of that doesn't even come down. The developers never even choose that normally. It's normally the company, the higher-ups that say, we want this in the game, we want this to happen. Like, the developers don't have free reign to make the game they want. Unless, obviously, you're an indie developer developing your own game. But at AAA companies or at big companies, maybe AA, um, yeah, you don't... You, the developers don't really have a choice. Um, so that does annoy me, but... I don't really know what we're getting at here anymore. I just, I just don't know why. Like, why does Mike not have something? Like, there's nothing here. He does have his Twitter here, and then just his news about his death. But like, once this gets, I don't know, two weeks old, like, like on how Google works, these top stories probably will go away, unless another, another one does like a follow-up story. But still, like, I want him on the side. I at least want like this like one of these to happen or like because if you if you were to google mike watson stunt like i'm assuming that guy comes up and he's there he has his own thing he has his own imdb okay he might not have his own um wikipedia because as a stunt performer it's a bit different but like you you, you can't really give mike watson this mike watson the, an imdb i don't think because I don't think, yeah, because I'm pretty sure IMDb is just movies and TV shows and you can't really yeah, give it to someone who's just, okay, I don't know. actually some people do have IMDb's if they voice acted in a video game or something, but yeah, I don't think Mike does, unless on this, in this new game, he does have a character of his own, perhaps, that would be a very nice surprise, and then maybe he could get an IMDb, like, at least like a, just a like a legit page but um i really want him to get this because like yeah if you search mike watson poker see this guy's got his own wikipedia for some reason he doesn't show up on the side here because normally if they have a wikipedia he shows up on the side i don't know how this guy shows up on the side then i don't know how knowledge panels work how you get a knowledge pa oh if you put it in brackets, it happens. But no, I'm pretty sure they're taken off Wikipedia because all of them have links to Wikipedia. Like if you, actually no, that's a lie because this Mike Watson doesn't have one. But he has nominations. But I thought it was taken off Wikipedia these panels, but I don't know how Google works. But anyway, yeah, he really needs one. This is I don't know what I'm ranting about right now, but I want him to come up on the side here. I want people to know who Mike Watson is. I want people to grow up. I want people who are studying game design, game development, who are modders, who are whatever, fans of the series, like, does anyone modding, anyone doing game development, whether they like Saints Row or not, needs to know of this man, because he is an inspiration, and this is just a really saddening thing, like, this guy's just a goofball, he's so caring, he's, uh, he's just an amazing person, and it really sucks, um, and this is a terrible video to make, but I just came home from work and I was thinking about making this video all day just to sort of rant, get my mind, just get this off my chest. Um, yeah, I just honestly want to say thank you so much to Mike Watson for everything he's done. If he's whatever you believe in looking down on us, I just hope that, I just hope that he's happy and, um, I also an update on that um, knowledge panel thing. It seems that you have to have a Wikipedia page or a wiki data entry. So um, maybe the um, boxer. No, sorry. 
maybe the stunt guy had a Wikipedia page or Wikidata, but it was taken down because it wasn't popular, en popular enough, but the knowledge panel still exists. Or he just has a wiki data, but not a wiki page. I don't know. It's a bit confusing on how it works, but I just hope that Mike Watson gets one. Because he, he deserves one. I just want to say thank you so much to him. and He meant a lot to my childhood and to me. And... Yeah. I just... If only... If only I could have maybe done Saints Row um, content sooner. Because, like... I was playing Saints Row before I even had internet to really upload videos. Like, I do have YouTube videos, but, yeah, really record them properly. Like, if you go back far enough, I have Bandicam and Fraps and stuff like that. And, yeah, not the best internet or computer, so I never really got to do that stuff. Um, but if that Saints Row 2 fix comes out, I'm definitely playing that and streaming that. I'm probably going to upload some stuff to YouTube. Um, but, yeah, I just want to say thank you, Mike Watson. You really, you really impacted us all.